Hello, beautiful humans. I'm Jen Madrone, and today we're going to talk about what I refer to as the I got it, I lost it syndrome in spiritual awakening. And this is when we have an experience of bliss, peace, when the mind is still and everything is just perfectly at ease. We're present. We're completely present. And we have this experience and it feels amazing and then it's gone. And then we start searching for it again because we want it back more than anything. We want to be back to that place because we suddenly realize this is where I've been trying to go. This is where I want to be. And so we start searching for it. We think it's gone. We start looking and what happens is we feel a deep grief in our bodies. We feel this deep grief and this longing um, because we don't really believe we can ever have it back. And um, it can cause deep despair in us um, of this longing and this missing of, of what we experienced. And it can even cause a really deep depression. It can make us feel like there's no meaning to life. There's no reason to go on if we can't live from this space. We get more agitated by all the mental thoughts that are happening that we can't control. Um, all of the you know, darker shadow stuff that comes up, we just get really irritated because we don't want to be there. We want to be back in that place of peace. And it can make us just spiral down deeply um, and not want to leave the house, not want to go and do anything. And so at the same time, and often it goes back and forth of these times of deep depression, and then we start searching and we start looking and we start running and trying to find our way back to that peace. And that's really our ego um, fighting for its survival, saying, okay, if you just look a little farther, if you just try a little harder, if you just do this practice, if you just read this book, then, then you'll get back to it. And it's really because at a deep level, we don't believe we can get back to it. And so it's this continual cycle that happens. And I believe that we have these um, beautiful awakening experiences, these experiences of bliss, of peace, of um, our authentic nature and of our connection with the divine. We have these experiences so that we know what is possible. We know now where it is that we want to go. And then we have to do the work. We have to do the work of clearing away the limiting beliefs, the conditioned beliefs, the responses, the behaviors, the protection me mechanisms caused by trauma and wounding. And that has to be cleared away before we can experience our authentic nature. We can experience that connection with the divine. And so running and searching doesn't get us there. We have to stop, like we were talking about yesterday. We have to stop. And we have to listen to ourselves and we have to face the suffering and face what it is that is coming up because it is coming up for us so that we can clear it out of the way and we can live from that authentic nature in a sustainable and lasting way. And so again, the theme is, is just stopping and experiencing exactly what is going on in you so that you know what it is you're working with, you know what it is that needs to be healed and needs to be faced. And so if you are ready to stop searching, you're ready to do the work, you're ready to face what it is that's coming up for you, then please private message me and see if we're a good fit to work together. Until then, um, stop, listen, be with yourselves, and um, have a lovely weekend as well.
All right, sending massive love to you all, and we'll see you in the next video.